When fear came, it came quietly, and something inside me knew. This was every chance I'd ever lost, coming back to me. Every wish I'd forgotten, slowly rising like stars, brilliant constellations pressed into the sky. When fear arrived, it moved quickly. But something inside me knew, this was the darkness, and yes, this was also the light. Fear has always been something that I've struggled with my whole life. It is something that has held control over my life, making me miss out on opportunities and experiences I now regret not doing. It affects all areas of my life, but as art is now my full-time business, letting fear control me and my decisions is a scary thing. For in order to grow as an artist, learning new mediums and skills, grow into my own style requires risk. It opens the possibility of failure for disappointment, and therefore fear often closes those doors so that I might stay safe and comfortable. I needed to change my perspective, understand my fear so that I might be able to actually step through that door and experience, yes, failure and disappointment, but also the magic that comes with trying something new. The magic of taking the risk and opening tons of possibilities for you to grab hold of. transformational book for me has been My Friend Fear by Mira Lee Patel. 
And I highly recommend anyone read this book because we all deal with fear in small or big ways. And it's something we need to come to understand and as the author says, become friends with. She says, in fact, fear isn't an obstacle to overcome at all. Fear is a light that's meant to guide us. It builds strength and provides sustenance. It has the ability to split us open like a knife does a pomegranate, spilling seeds of beauty and incredible possibility from the inside. One of my intentions this year was to be more unafraid, to let fear not have the last word as much, to learn how to embrace fear and to learn from it, to grow within it so that I might become more of who I am meant to be as an individual, as a friend, as an artist. I felt my work has become stagnant and I feel the drive to grow in my work and that means creating non-perfect work, getting messy, trying new media, taking classes, experimenting. One of the main ways in which I want to do this this year is actually work in a sketchbook and fill one up entirely. I hardly ever fill up a sketchbook, and when I do work in one, I can't bring myself to make quote-unquote bad art. I end up making perfect pieces, and that is not what a sketchbook is about for me. It should be a place of growth, exploration, and discovery. It should be a place with no pressure, no expectations, freedom. Fear is always beside us, but it doesn't keep us from freedom. It leads us to it, slowly moving us toward the magic. Being brave, being courageous is not living a life without great fear. It's seeing fear clearly and living a greater life with it beside you. It's realizing that you have the power to choose which fears will guide you and which are better left behind.
This is the perspective I want to cultivate moving forward. This is the perspective that will help me become a better artist. I know it is not something that will change overnight, but it is something I am willing to work at, to embrace, and to influence all areas of my life so that I might reach the magic more often. I'll leave you with this final quote. Shaping a life like creating art is a process. It takes time. To peel back the fear that layers itself between your heart and head, I am the artist. You are the artist too. What great dreams will you bring to life? <laughs>